Looks like something big is brewing over at OpenAI. Recently, we all know that there has been a lot of different rumors around the GPT-5. And today, I think I have found a model that might be an early tested model for GPT-5. On Ella Marina, which is a platform designed to test and compare chatbots across real world challenges. A few people had actually noticed a new anonymous chatbot that was quietly dominating Web Arena. At first, a lot of people thought it was just a regular model. But after digging a little deeper, some of these people were able to decrypt as well as find clues and uncover what might be just OpenAI's new GPT-5 model. But it's something that is currently in development and it's named as the O3 Alpha. This model's response was dated for June 17, 2025, which was the release date. And it is a brief glimpse at its public model card, which was also tagged with OpenAI's provider, the ID, the API metadata, as well as the internal label, which was listed at O3 Alpha. Now, I don't think this is an accident. This is something that most companies tend to do to test out their models with real tested prompts, as well as with different sorts of users accessing their model to see if it's capable of outperforming other models. Now, the thing is, is that this model is seriously powerful, especially when it comes to code. It is something that's able to outperform the Gemini 2.5 Pro, the DeepSeek models, Pod4 Sonnet, as well as Opus, and many others. And this model isn't just good at spitting out code. It is demonstrating architectural reasoning, error-free outputs, and full level generation in one shot. Just take this as an example. This is where it was capable of generating the Space Invaders clone, which is written from scratch in a single prompt. There is no retries, no back and forth, just the clean working code of a Space Invader game. And you can see the output quality that was actually released from this model. This is another impressive output, which is where it was capable of creating this highly customizable SVG app in one shot. This is something that it was capable of outputting with different functionalities for SVG code. Now in head-to-head -head tasks with the O3 Pro, it is able to outperform it as well as the Opus 4. And it demonstrates world-class performance in physics simulations, as well as showcasing incredible web dev capabilities. It's something that is really good with UI and UX designs, and it's able to develop different sorts of front-end frameworks as well as Asian frameworks from a couple of tests I've seen as well as ran by myself. I built an app with AI. The code looked fine, everything ran, and there was no errors, so I assumed it was ready. But when I actually tested it, half the features I asked for were silently missing. No bugs, just logic that quietly failed. That's when I realized the problem isn't how fast AI can code. It is that we've been trusting it way too much. Then I tried Test Sprite 2.0 and honestly, it flipped the experience. At the heart of it, there is something called an MCP, which stands for Model Context Protocol. It's more than a testing tool. It actually supervises your AI coding agent. MCP reads your code base, your prompt history, and figures out what the app should be doing. Then it automatically generates and runs smart integration tests for the back end as well as for the front end and loops back fixes to your agent. Here's what blew my mind. Without the test for MCP, the average AI built app hits just 40% of its required features. With the MCP, the number jumps up to 90% and above. And the turnaround is fast where it's capable of generating tests, finding bugs and patches, most of them under 15 minutes. You don't need to write the test cases or build infrastructure. It handles the entire QA system and cycle for you. TestRite 2.0 with its MCP makes your AI code actually work fast, accurate, and hands-free. And right now, the starter plan is free for the first month. So try it out while it lasts with the link in the description below. Now, if you're watching this and you really want to try it right now, I highly recommend that you simply just go over to the website, Ella Marina, which is something that I'll leave a link to in the description below and start generating right now because I'm pretty sure these guys are going to take down this model pretty soon, probably in approximately the next few days. So make sure you test this out. But essentially, you want to head over to this website. You don't need to even sign up or log in. And you can simply test out anything that you want for the AI model to actually generate. So in this case, if you want to generate an e-commerce store, you can send in this prompt. Now, there's a high likelihood that you might not get the anonymous chatbot, which is the new open AI model. This is essentially where you can keep on rerunning to see if it's able to get the response from the chatbot. 
But if you don't, you can obviously go back and start a new chat and generate with the exact same prompt that you had sent in. Now to see which model it actually is, you're going to need to have both generations fully complete. And after you have tested on which model one, it's going to then tell you which model was generating that answer. And I'll showcase this once it finishes this response over here. By the way, you will know that this is the OpenAI model when it's taking a longer time to generate. In this case, you can see that it has now generated this demo store. And you can just tell that this is the new OpenAI model due to the quality of output. And after you have voted on which model had generated the best answer, it'll tell on the top which is the winner and which has generated the actual prompt. So in this case, it's the anonymous chatbot, which is the new uh, OpenAI model. And this is what I mean. The output for this model is just truly insane. It was able to focus on everything that is essential, like the small like feature, which also showcases on the wish list. You can add it to cart. Obviously, every model is capable of doing this, but adding notifications without telling the model to actually do this is just insane. Now, a lot of researchers at OpenAI are hinting with this release coming out in this summer. And a lot of people are stating that it's going to be a revolutionary model. And what I'm seeing so far with its coding performance is definitely a high likelihood that it could be maybe one of the variations of the GPT-5 model. Maybe not the full GPT-5 model, but something that is a variant or maybe a previous update for uh, the GPT-5 model. Now, in my opinion, this feels like OpenAI is playing a strategic hand, possibly maybe even delaying GPT-5, as this could be a variant of the O3 model series. It could be that there is a new updated O3 model that could be used to maybe train the GPT-5 afterwards. Now, this is something that could also hint that OpenAI is hinting a late release for GPT-5, but giving us a powerful upgrade to the O3 in the meantime. This is just my two cents. I don't know what truly could be. It could be the GPT-5, which could release soon, or in the O3 Pro, which could also release with the end of July, maybe, or even early August. Now, I'm going to personally try it out to have it generate a front end of an AI SaaS website that has a lot of features. And I'm also requesting it to add as many uh, small things possible with its creative touch. Also making sure that it's able to add a background animation to the landing page. And there we go. We have the two generations from two anonymous models, but let's see which model is better. In this case, it looks like the left one is a bit more refined and the right one does look good, but it's not something as the same quality of output from the left model. So I'm going to say the left model is better and it looks like it is the new model, the new OpenAI leaked model. And you can see the quality of output, guys. This is just awesome. It added animations and it was able to focus on a lot of different components without me even requesting it to do this. It did a lot of this and it was able to generate all of these things all on its own, which is just awesome. This is why I really love this model and I'm really excited to see what this model is going to be capable of generating once it actually releases. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on this new GPT-5 or even the O3 variant model. I highly recommend that you try using it through LM Arena as soon as you can because it's going to be taken down very very soon so definitely recommend that you try it out with the link in the description below but that's basically it guys let me know what you guys think is this the new gpt5 model or is it the new o3 variant but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel make sure you join the newsletter join our discord follow me on twitter and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.